Hey everyone, James Ellis here to film some Supplement 101 advice for you. Getting a lot of messages in my social network inboxes of people asking me what supplements should they take and why. Uh, what are some of my favorite supplements? I get that question all the time as well. Obviously, I take SciTech Nutrition Supplements. That's my sponsor and I love their products. They're amazing. So this video today is actually going to be on creatine. A lot of people ask me, oh, should I take creatine? Should I not take creatine? Does it make me bloated? Is it good for me? Is it bad for me? What are the long-term effects? All those different questions. And creatine's a really big one because a lot of people take creatine and a lot of people have heard bad stuff about it and a lot of people have heard good stuff about it. So creatine, let me just give you a little 101 advice on creatine. Creatine is part of the Krebs cycle. So What's that mean? Did you guys take you know, anything on health in school or anything like that? Did you take health classes? I'm sure you did. And you probably talked about the Krebs cycle. So the Krebs cycle, the importance of the Krebs cycle is it builds ATP, which gives you energy. So you're going through a cycle. What's happening in the cycle, one of the, one of the key uh, things that happens in this cycle to build ATP for energy, that's the point of ATP, is creatine. Uh, the body will grab in the Krebs cycle, it'll, it'll grab creatine, which is one of the links to building ATP for energy. So as your body is going through the Krebs cycle and every time it's going through it, it grabs creatine to build ATP. Eventually, when you're working out, when you're working out hard, your body will burn through its creatine stores. That's why they talk about loading creatine. That's why they talk about taking creatine. If you don't want to get to that point in your workout where you're just completely exhausted, your energy, your strength, your everything, your endurance goes down, usually that happens because your body is run out of creatine stores. So that's why we take creatine. We store up creatine in the body so that our body will be able to continue to go through the Krebs cycle, build ATP for energy. So guys, that's a really great reason to take creatine. Um, you know, creatine got a bad rep back in the day when a lot of it was just straight monohydrate creatine. A lot of people would retain water when they took it. Creatines are a lot different today. And so your body doesn't uh, hold as much water. You know, we have crealkaline mixes, things like that. Now, monohydrate, yeah, it did tend to make people retain water. Um, my recommendation with creatine, you should never stay on it all the time. I'll take creatine for a maximum of two months at a time and then I take a month off. If you're on creatine all the time, then your body, it's like telling your body that, hey, I'm going to feed you creatine all the time. There's no need to make it anymore. So then your body's natural stores of creatine will become less and less and less. It'll stop creating creatine naturally. So you don't want to always be on creatine. You want to be on, like I said, I'll be on creatine for two months at a time. I'll take a month off, then I'll get back on for two months, take a month off. I like to keep my body guessing, and I like to make sure that my body won't stop making what it needs to be making. So I will feed it some creatine for the two-month period and then take off. So that's my recommendation to you. Please don't be on creatine all the time. You don't want to tell your body to stop making it naturally. So that's my recommendations to you guys. Um, I do have a product that is brand new. That's another reason I filmed this video because now SciTech Nutrition is making a new product called Creastar. So a really great product. I'm really excited about it. It's a six component creatine matrix. So it's got six different types of creatine in it. It does have your crealkaline in it. It's a really great product. I'm really stoked about it. This is actually a cola flavored one. So you, if you guys like cola, you might give it a try. It's interesting. It's got 13 active ingredients, which is incredible. Uh, some of those active ingredients that I'm really stoked about is glycerol, uh, which is insane for pumps, folks. You're going to get insane pumps with the glycerol. It also has glutazorb, glutamine, and uh, glutamine is great because it helps your body to recover. So um, if you're experiencing a lot of muscle soreness, things of that nature, uh, glutazorb is incredible, folks. Glutazorb glutamine. So um, I like to take glutamine before and after my workout. So it's great that it is in with my creatine, with my Creastar creatine. So folks, uh, you can go to SciTechNutrition.com, learn more about this product, learn more about the 13 active ingredients that are in it. Um, I don't believe this is selling quite yet in the U.S., but it's selling in most uh, other parts of the world, so you guys can check it out. Go to SciTechNutrition.com, and it'll take you to a website that is for your country. But once this is selling in the U.S., uh, you can use promo code JAMES, 
and you'll get 10% off your order. When you spend over $50, uh, you'll get free shipping. So you guys might, uh, might go ahead and check it out. I know, I think within the next probably month, uh, we're going to have this product in the U S so hopefully maybe even when you're watching this video, it'll already be here, but guys, that's my video on creatine. You guys can check out Creastar. Keep an eye out on the local SciTech Nutrition website for you to see when it's going to show up. And you can try Creastar. It's an incredible product. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.